welcome to the Cosmic Frontier. Today, we're delving into a remarkable discovery by the James Webb Telescope, strange lights emanating from a cold, failed star. But what does this mean, and why is it significant? Strap in as we embark on an interstellar journey to uncover the mysteries of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, often headlining news with discoveries of distant galaxies and black holes, has now shifted its focus to a remarkable phenomenon. Welcome to the world of cosmic wonders, where auroras, commonly known as the Northern and Southern Lights, take center stage. These brilliant displays, typically seen near Earth's poles, result from solar particles colliding with atmospheric molecules, a spectacle not limited to Earth, but also observed on planets like Jupiter and Saturn, as well as active moons such as Jupiter's Io and Saturn's Enceladus. However, in a groundbreaking observation, astronomers using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope have detected something extraordinary, a failed star or brown dwarf displaying signs of an aurora. This newly discovered auroral activity around the brown dwarf, designated WISA 1935 plus 4200, located over 40 light years away, marks a fascinating addition to our understanding of cosmic phenomena. Located light years from Earth, the enigma of WISA 1935 plus 4200, a brown dwarf, deepens due to its isolation in space, far from any stars that might provide the charged particles typically responsible for auroral phenomena. Brown dwarfs are celestial bodies, larger than gas giants, yet smaller than stars. They form similarly to stars, emerging from collapsing clouds of gas and dust. However, most brown dwarfs, including WISA 1935, are often found far from stellar companions. Dubbed failed stars somewhat unfairly, brown dwarfs lack the necessary mass to ignite nuclear fusion of hydrogen into helium in their cores, a process that powers stars during their main sequence stage. The potential aurora over W, ISE 1935, was suggested by the detection of infrared emissions from methane, observed by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. On planets like Jupiter and Saturn, methane emissions are linked to auroras, generated when charged particles spiral along magnetic field lines and collide with atmospheric particles, heating the atmosphere. The research team hypothesized that a similar process might be occurring with this solitary brown dwarf. Methane is common in these objects, but rather than absorbing light as expected, it was found to be emitting light. This unexpected observation led one scientist to express their initial reaction as one of surprise and curiosity pondering the unique nature of this glowing methane and what it reveals about the brown dwarf's atmospheric dynamics. The discovery of methane emissions from the brown dwarf W, ISA 1935 plus 4200, in the absence of an external solar wind, has led the research team to speculate about internal processes within the brown dwarf that might be energizing its atmosphere. Alternatively, the aurora-like phenomenon observed might be the result of interstellar plasma interacting with the brown dwarf, or perhaps the brown dwarf is not as isolated as it seems, possibly receiving particle influx from a nearby active moon. The exact cause remains a subject for further study. Historically, auroras have been proposed to explain some of the unique characteristics observed in brown dwarfs, such as radio emissions from warmer examples of these celestial bodies. However, the observations made by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST of WISA 1935, mark the first instance where methane emission from a brown dwarf has been associated with an aurora. This groundbreaking finding by JWST offers a new avenue to delve into the chemistry of such phenomena and understand how auroral processes may differ beyond our solar system. In addition to this intriguing observation, the JWST has made other notable discoveries. Early in 2024, including galaxies with unusual appearances, likened to pickles, further showcasing the telescope's profound impact on astronomy. Astronomers, initially skeptical, 
are re-evaluating their understanding of the early universe's galaxies due to new images from the James Webb Space Telescope. Contrary to the long-held assumption that these primordial galaxies would resemble orbs or disks similar to those in the modern universe, these images reveal that the earliest galaxies appear quite different, bearing an unexpected resemblance to bananas. This startling conclusion emerged after a group of astronomers analyzed images of 4,000 such galaxies captured by Webb at the universe's infancy. Should these findings be confirmed, they could significantly alter our understanding of galaxy formation and evolution. Moreover, this discovery could provide crucial insights into the mysterious nature of dark matter, a largely invisible and elusive substance that is thought to make up a substantial part of the universe's mass. This revelation is particularly noteworthy as it builds upon previous hints from the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble's observations had also suggested unconventional shapes for the universe's earliest galaxies, indicating a need for a broader reassessment of astronomical theories regarding the structure and evolution of galaxies in the early universe. Dr. Alan Dressler, a prominent figure at the Carnegie Observatories and instrumental in the development of the James Webb Space Telescope, expresses skepticism about recent findings that early galaxies resembled pickles in shape. Despite not being directly involved in this observation, Dr. Dressler highlights the challenges in accurately measuring the shapes of distant, dim, and small galaxies. The research team approached this question by statistically analyzing the two-dimensional projections of galaxies as they appear on the sky to infer their three-dimensional shapes. If these initial galaxies were spherical or disk shaped with random orientations in space, astronomers would expect to occasionally see them fully face on, appearing round and circular in telescope observations. However, the actual observations do not support this expectation. Instead, astronomers have found an unexpected prevalence of elongated shapes akin to cigars and bananas. The lead author of the study, Dr. P, noted that these galaxies consistently appear very linear, with some exhibiting multiple bright clumps arranged in a sequence, challenging conventional understandings of early galaxy formation and morphology. In the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science sample, which delves back to about 500 million years post-Big Bang, an unexpected majority of galaxies up to 80% exhibit oblong shapes, a rarity in the contemporary universe. These elongated galaxies, reminiscent of necklaces, are theorized to be the precursors of galaxies akin to the Milky Way. This suggests that our galaxy might have experienced a similar cigar or surfboard morphological phase in its early history. In the modern universe, galaxies predominantly manifest in two forms, ellipticals, which are featureless and roundish, and flat, spidery disks, like the Milky Way. However, these recent observations indicate that the earliest galactic forms diverged significantly from this norm. This finding challenges the established understanding codified in 1926 by Edwin Hubble, who developed the Hubble sequence. This classification system categorizes galaxies into ellipticals, lenticulars, and spirals based on their appearance. In a more recent study from 2010, European astronomers, utilizing data from the Hubble Space Telescope, compiled a comprehensive census of galaxy types and shapes spanning from an era predating the Earth and Sun up to the present. Their research, which analyzed 116 local galaxies and 148 distant ones revealed evolution in galactic shapes over time, indicating a significant shift from the early universe's peculiar formations to the more familiar structures observed today. The Hubble sequence, a classification system for galaxies, appears vastly different when looking back six billion years compared to what astronomers observe in the present day. Six billion years ago, the universe was populated with a significantly higher number of peculiar galaxies than we see now. This observation suggests that, over the last six billion years, these unusual galaxies have transformed into the more familiar spiral galaxies, offering a dynamic view of the universe's recent history. 
Astronomers theorize that these peculiar galaxies evolved into spirals predominantly through processes of collisions and mergers. While it was previously believed that galaxy mergers became substantially less frequent around 8 billion years ago, this new evidence implies that mergers continued at a notable rate well after this period, possibly up until 4 billion years ago. Additionally, this study reinforces the idea that spiral galaxies are relatively young in the cosmic timeline, especially when compared to other galaxy types. Now, with the advent of the James Webb Space Telescope, our understanding of cosmology is undergoing significant revisions. Its latest discoveries challenge the standard model of cosmology, which postulates a gradual evolution of galaxies over time. These revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope are reshaping our comprehension of the universe and its myriad galaxies. Galaxies, believed to have formed from vast clouds of primordial hydrogen and helium, likely possessed an amorphous structure initially. The early universe, dense and chaotic, was a hotbed for galactic collisions and mergers. These events were instrumental in imparting rotation to galaxies and eventually leading to the formation of disks and spirals. As such processes take time, spiral galaxies are expected to be more prevalent in the locale, modern universe, and relatively rare in the distant early universe. In a recent study, a team of scientists utilized data from the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey collected by the James Webb Space Telescope. They identified 873 galaxies, each with a mass exceeding 10 billion solar masses and with redshifts ranging from 0.5 to 4. These redshifts suggest that these galaxies are aged between 5 billion and 12 billion years, spanning from early to modern eras. Of these identified galaxies, 216 were classified as spirals. The researchers acknowledged the possibility of misclassifying merging galaxies, but even with this consideration, 108 galaxies were unanimously identified as spirals by all evaluators. Upon arranging these galaxies by their redshift, the team observed a decreasing fraction of spirals as they looked further back in time, aligning with the expectation that spiral galaxies became more common in the more recent universe. As astronomers delved further back in time, they encountered a surprising trend. The proportion of spiral galaxies at redshifts above Z equals 3 was unexpectedly high. A redshift of Z equals 3 corresponds to approximately 11.5 billion years ago. When the researchers calibrated their observations, they discovered that around one-fifth of the galaxies at Z equals 3 were spiral galaxies. This finding implies that these very early galaxies transitioned into spiral forms less than 2 billion years after the Big Bang. Such a rapid evolution suggests that there was insufficient time for mergers and collisions alone to account for their formation. It indicates that many galaxies evolved into disk-shaped spirals much earlier in the universe's history than previously thought. While collisions and mergers undoubtedly contribute to the development of spiral galaxies, this revelation points to the likelihood of other influencing factors in their formation. However, the exact nature of these additional factors remains unknown. With the ongoing explorations of the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers hope this year will bring more answers and insights, furthering our understanding of the cosmos. Go Webb to infinity and beyond. Welcome to Blasovia Science TV, where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content. As a member of Blessovia Science TV, you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content, including documentaries, interviews with leading scientists, space missions, updates, and awe-inspiring visualizations of the universe. Live Q and as sessions with experts, your membership will grant you the chance to participate in live queue and as sessions with renowned scientists, astronomers, and space explorers. Get your burning questions answered by those who push the boundaries of human knowledge. Embark on a journey that spans the cosmos, 
and join us in unraveling the secrets of the universe. Become a Blessovia Science TV member today, and together we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.